What's going on guys, it's Batchat TV. We're gonna get into this UFC matchup, which is happening on Saturday the 16th, I believe. Mm. The fight might have gone a little bit uh, under the radar, maybe, but it's a very exciting fight. Um, if you're a, a UFC um, fan, martial arts fan in general, I know I often do a lot of boxing videos, but um, I'm, I'm a fan of UFC also, and uh, MMA in general. And um, some of my favorite female fighters, happened to be uh, fighting each other on Saturday the 16th in a few days time Shevchenko versus Grasso um, I'm a real big fan of these two female fighters um, the other my other favorite fighter obviously being Amanda Nunes but um, outside of Amanda Nunes Shevchenko and Grasso are one of my favorite fighters I think that they're so disciplined in their training and um, they're such skilled fighters such skilled um martial artists especially Shevchenko she's ruled the flyweight division for I don't know how many years if anyone knows let me know how long Shevchenko has um has ruled the flyweight division she seemed unbeatable until recently when she was beaten by Grasso and to be honest even when she was beaten you know it was extremely competitive I don't know why some people are saying you know it's a changing of the guard there's no way Shevchenko has fallen off people always say that casual fans you know but if you actually look at the things that Shevchenko has done you know she's been amazing outside of Amanda Nunes there's nobody like Shevchenko personally I put them almost on the same level um absolutely amazing fighter uh, but nevertheless she came up short um not long ago and now we've got the rematch now Grasso another tough Mexican great martial artist she can box she's got great striking um and she can wrestle as well and she and she mixes up the two quite well. I think she's primarily a striker, but she mixes up the two very well. And, um, well, in the fight, I mean, I'm going to try and make a prediction, basically, at the end of this, but not to make the video too long. A prediction between these two is very, very difficult. I never sit on the fence, but I really like both fighters. Like I said, they don't have many weaknesses, um, both, both fighters. I think Grasso's got amazing striking. She's really fast, really quick, and very powerful. Um, just as powerful, if not more, than Shevchenko. Shevchenko is more disciplined in the way that she kind of fights. She, uh, You can see there's a lot of thinking going on in there when she's fighting. She doesn't just throw kicks for no reason. You know, she's, uh, she's thinking of what to throw, what to do. She made a lot of um, really good adjustments in the first fight, to be honest, because she was getting caught by Grasso's hard punching, uh, striking style and um, fainting a lot, you know, fainting her footwork, fainting in and out. And that's how she was able to kind of catch her with a, with a jab, often getting through the guard and then follow up with the right hand, which was really doing some damage um, early on in the fight, especially in the second round, I think it was. But um, Shevchenko made a really smart adjustment. She started um, getting her timing and her distance a bit better. And then every time she would try to kind of line her up for that overhand, obviously Shevchenko would shoot and take her down. And she was successful on, you know, more like four or five occasions taking her down. And then it was quite... Um, after she kind of got uh, a dominant position where she was taking her down quite a lot, although Grasso got up, she was controlled for a large amount of the, the time in the cage. So I gave Shevchenko the edge. So I think Grasso started out strong. Shevchenko started taking over. Grasso uh, made a adjustment as well and um, started kind of stuffing some of the takedowns that she was countering her with. And it was a chess match, a really high level match. It was very enjoyable to watch. Now, a lot of people say Shevchenko's kind of uh, sour grapes because she said Grasso is a good fighter, but she doesn't really think she's that good. She thinks that she's more of a opportunist um, in the way that, you know, if she didn't give her the chance to get the submission stoppage, the rear naked choke that she got, uh, there would be no chance and she wouldn't have won. Now, a lot of people say that's sour grapes. You know, uh, she just can't take the fact that she lost and she doesn't want to give 
uh, any credit to Grasso. And yeah, there is a little bit of that. There's always a little bit of that. If you've ruled the division for a long time and you lose suddenly and you wasn't expecting it, there's always going to be a little bit of that. But for the most part, I think Sevchenko is quite an analytical person in general and it shows shows up in the fight which is why she's been champion for so long and if you actually watch the fight I, I actually agree with her you know she made a mistake where she turned her back to throw a kick I think it was and uh, she shouldn't have and she didn't need to she didn't need to she could have carried on she was up against the case she could have circled out and carried on doing what she was doing getting her distance right and kind of shooting in underneath uh, Grasso's uh, somewhat predictable overhand right. She was having a lot of success with that. She could have kept doing that. You know, so she made an obvious mistake when she turned her back. Grasso was around her neck before you could blink and she got the choke. Now she got the win fair and square, but Sevchenko has got a point when she says, if I don't give her that opportunity, she can't win. She's kind of got a point. Uh, I feel like Shevchenko, clearly she only made one mistake in the fight, to be honest. And uh, that was the mistake, you know, that one mistake led to her loss. And she realises now that she's fighting a woman in Grasso, a professional, that she cannot make a mistake. You know, and the only other person Shevchenko has ever fought where she literally can't make one mistake was Amanda Nunes. You know, so she knows that she's she's up against it. In the rematch, I think she, there's going to be a big emphasis on making no mistakes. Shevchenko is a very disciplined person. And uh, if Grasso is to repeat her win, she's really going to have to work for it. She's not going to get anything free of Shevchenko in this rematch, I guarantee you. There won't be any kind of, uh, you know, uh, spinning back kicks or anything like that where she could um, miss, calculate and, and get caught again. Uh, she just I think it's gonna she's just gonna keep everything very disciplined, very tight, get her timing right. I think she's just gonna be a lot more careful with a lot of things. Obviously she's not the champion now, so she's gonna have to be aggressive in some way. So she's gonna have to come forward and I think she will be aggressive, but I think there will be an emphasis on just not giving uh, Grasso any unearned chances, let's say. You know, so Grasso is gonna have to work for it. And um yeah, I think she's going to have to work for it. And so Gresso is going to have to make an adjustment also because she she is a bit of an opportunist. She does uh, create her own opportunities. But if you make a mistake, she's very quick to capitalise. And I'd like to see how Gresso does if Shevchenko doesn't make any mistakes. You know, if she isn't so aggressive, if she, she gets her timing right, she doesn't try any spinning back kicks and get taken down. You know, she does all these things correct. I want to see see if Gresso can still get the win. Uh, and I'm not convinced that she can. Although I think Gresso is a great fighter, I'm not so convinced that Shevchenko, on her best night, I don't think she beats her. Um, but, you know, as I'm making this video, I'm kind of just mulling it over in my head if she is good enough to beat her because I think Gresso is really, really good. And um, I don't think it was a fluke that she beat her. I just feel like she, I feel like Shevchenko made a mistake and that's why she beat her. Not that she just completely outclassed her, as in Grasso was kind of trying to make out that she outclassed Shevchenko and she was training this uh, rear naked choke. Yeah, of course she was training it. That's no problem that she was training it, but she was able to execute it because Shevchenko made a mistake. That's what I feel. Now, uh, you could say that you know, everyone loses because somebody made a mistake, you know, and that's kind of true. But in Shevchenko's case, she was doing really well in the fight. She made a lot of adjustments. I feel like she was winning the fight. And then she made that one mistake off the cage where she turned her back. So I'd like to see if um, she can kind of make an adjustment and not make those mistakes again. And I'd like to see how Grasso responds to a more disciplined Shevchenko um, in the in the cage. I wouldn't be surprised that Grasso, if she won, because obviously she's making her own adjustments. It's really going to be a high level fight. I'm actually looking forward to this fight. Like I said before, I think it went a little bit under the radar, but I'm looking forward to this fight on Saturday. I will be watching it. Um, it's very difficult for me to make a prediction. I really don't know because on one side, Shevchenko is the older fighter. And this could be a changing of the guards, a young, strong, hungry Mexican fighter. 
maybe she is the next one to take over this flyweight division and Shevchenko has had her time. But from looking at her training um, videos and how motivated she is, you know, Shevchenko is more motivated than ever to get this back. And I wouldn't be surprised if she does. Let me know what you think. I'm picking Shevchenko to, uh, to win her, her belt back, but I could be wrong. I could so easily be wrong, to be honest. I think they're very equally matched and it's a very competitive fight. I just think that uh, Subchenko on her day, she has the edge over Grasso just a little bit. I think she's just a little bit more calculated in what she does. Um, but I'm telling you, they're both top athletes and I wouldn't be surprised either way. Let me know what you think. I'm picking Shevchenko for the revenge instead of the repeat. And um, yeah, I'm really not sure though. So let me know your views and what you think. I'm on to the next one. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.